the change I want to see in the world is seeing that investment in causes that we really shouldn't still be talking about violence against women in 2015. That should be something we've solved. When I studied at UQ, it taught me a way of thinking that was about challenging ideas and challenging norms. I've had an incredible privilege of staying in contact with most of the people that I met here. Um, we're all still friends. I now live both in Canberra and in Brisbane with people that I met here at uni uh, and have stayed in contact and absolutely contacts who now make introductions for my job um, and also who think about opportunities and ideas. So you often get emails in the middle of the night saying, have you thought about this or have you considered this idea? And that's really exciting. I think when I think about the highlights in my, in my career, I am really proud of the, the space that we've created for women's leadership and for women's empowerment. One of the programs that UN Women in the Pacific's working on that I'm really excited about is called the Markets Program. And it's one where we're trying to develop decent work and safe work for women across the region. In the Pacific, 85% of market vendors are women, and that means that women are growing, responsible for selling a huge amount of the produce in that region, and it's a huge part of the economy. But to do that work, we were finding that women were facing serious violence when they were walking to and from the marketplace. So UN Women has worked to develop the infrastructure to put in roofs, fresh water, toilet facilities, lockers, in some cases beds and places for women to sleep if they have to stay overnight. And a really exciting part of the program, helping women to form collectives so that they can advocate to the local market owners about what they need and where they'd like their stall fees best used. And we've seen really exciting safety and economic development outcomes. For me, I never set out with the goal of making any kind of global impact or global change. What I did set out to do was make some kind of community change. I could, you know, at some small level, play a role in changing someone's life, changing someone's experience. Or whether it's having a conversation at the highest levels in the business community or the government that might shift someone's attitude about gender equality even slightly. I think you can't underestimate the power that those conversations can have in the, in the longer term.